Ukrainians have sent naval drones and aerial drones into occupied Crimea to attack a Russian Coast Guard base. This happened right here at this lake. This is Lake Donozlov, and if you look at it from afar, you can see why Russia has their Coast Guard base in there. It's kind of crossed off here, so it's sort of a safe harbor, but Ukrainians are like, nah, we know what you're doing in this base. According to the Ukrainian Secret Service, they said last night the Russian Navy conducted exercises to protect the waters of Lake Dunozlov in Crimea. Thanks to the SSU drones, the exercises were a failure, as the Russians were unable to defend even their base, not to mention the lake area. Which, by the way, Russian sources say that everything was destroyed, but what I think what they meant by that is that everything on their base was destroyed. Ukrainian reports say they destroyed it in ammunition depot, equipment, electronic substation, technical facilities, and firing positions. And on top of that, we know that Ukraine did strike a Russian boat because they have drones with cameras, and those cameras record everything. And we can see it go right to the last very second up to the back of a Russian patrol boat, and then it cuts out, which means it's, it's destroyed. I must add, though, there had been a video put online, actually from the Russian side, saying that, look, we destroyed a drone, and it was a video of something exploding far off in the distance, and you could see it kind of flying up in the skies, and many people are pointing out, I don't think that's a naval drone being destroyed there. I think it's a Russian patrol boat. And those patrol boats, they're not massive. I think they're like 60 feet or something like that. But still, it's another Russian boat gone. And this comes at a time where Russia did evacuate all of their military ships from Crimea. And so Ukrainians are now just kind of pinpointing wherever there's some kind of ammunition or boats on, let's just say, whether it's a lake, a stream, or the outskirts of occupied Crimea, they're getting to those positions to destroy them to get ready to go into Crimea sometime in the future. Which makes you wonder, if Ukraine is going to take this back, would they start from Kherson, or would they have something go through here and then come down from Kherson? A lot of questions, but we have no answers yet. We'll see what happens in the future.